Hello everyone, I'm Ashok. Welcome back to the hypothesis testing uh, part two. So we have in the last video we discussed about one sample t-test and how we can use one time sam sample t-test to compare a data distribution with a hypothesized mean. We have taken an example of marriage age of a male in India and compared that with a 30 which is a hypothesized mean and actually proved uh, that we cannot confidently or statistically reject the claim that 30 is a marriage age. So we accept that 30 is uh, statistically um, uh, marriage age in India for a male. Okay, so let's discuss two sample t-test. So this is two sample independent t-test. So two sample independent t-test. Um, let's compare two data distributions. One is a marriage age in India. So I'm going to compare the marriage age in India to uh, another country. Let's say a marriage age in America, for example. We do a USA. So we do have a lot of Indians in USA. And I'm going to just generically consider everyone, specifically not to uh, Indians or non-Indians, just USA. So I'm going to just run a, a test on people living in America, male and the marriage ages. So usually they marry a bit late when compared to Indians. So I'm going to again guess or assume the data. So let's say 34, 36, 39, 40, uh, 40 37, 35, 38, 41, 42, 38, maybe some are marrying early as well, 28, 29, and uh, okay, that's good enough. So we have some data for USA, uh, America, and some for India. And I'm going to run a two sample independent t-test. We call this as independent t-test because these two samples have no dependency. The, is the male uh, people, the population of the US has no correlation or no, sorry, not correlation, no comparison or they're not related. So it's independent of each other. The people living in India and people living in America, they have no uh, relation as such. They are independent data. So, uh, well, again, even for this, you need to test skewness and kurtosis. So I'm going to roughly say skewness for marriage age in India and uh, kurtosis. I can use a print statement. It just takes a lot of space. I'm going to simply say stats dot skewness for marriage age of USA and uh, again stats dot kurtosis of uh, marriage age in India and then stats courtesies of marriage age in USA. Run it, you get four different values in a tuple. So I see all of the values are between minus one and zero, which is all okay. So your skewness is okay, your courtesy is okay, your data, both of your distributions are normal. So I can go ahead and apply to sample t-test. So I'm gonna simply set up the hypothesis testing first, hypothesis first, before going ahead with the uh, So my null hypothesis, so always remember, null hypothesis equates the data in quantitative analysis. So I'm not going into qualitative research in this. Data science is mostly depend on, mostly quantitative research. So uh, your null hypothesis compares data or finds similarities or compares the data, equates the data. So you always find the equality. In the previous like one sample data we have null hypothesis is your marriage age is equal to 30. Here we say we have two data, so we don't have any hypothesized mean here. We have two different data distributions and we are comparing them saying they are same. So that's what the null hypothesis does. Null hypothesis always equates the data or in other words, finds similarities. I'll say marriage age of a male in India and USA are same. Okay, that's good. So what's going to be a null hy uh, alternate hypothesis? It's pretty straightforward, not same. So copy the same thing and say not same. I'm a bit oversimplifying this. 
for that you can understand it but you know this is good enough for a data science professional all right so i have to say this as h a great okay so there is a module called as uh, t test independent ind as you can see here and this module compares two data distributions and comes up with the probability value no the same or not same so marriage in india and marriage in usa you run it your p value is actually 0 0.01 so i'm going to conclude the test now saying p value is equal to 1.1 percent which is 0 0.011 is 1.1 percent which means p is less than five percent is less than five percent right so we can say you know remember the thumb rule p less than five percent we reject null hypothesis we reject null hypothesis so we accept alternate hypothesis what's our alternate hypothesis alternate hypothesis is marriage age in india and usa are not same so we are statistically rejected the null hypothesis we make a statement with 95 percent confidence interval that they are not same well if you want to say which is higher is it more than usa or less than usa you can see the sign of this uh, t value if the t value is negative the first value is less than the second value if the t value is positive then the first value is greater than the second value in this case t value is negative so i can simply say uh, t value is negative so marriage age marriage age of male in india is uh, statistically statistically more than oh, sorry less than less than marriage oh, let me write it on the second line uh, statistically statistically less than marriage age of male sorry for my capitalizations I don't need to capitalize this okay even this um, ma this is less than marriage of male in USA and USA needs to be capitalized okay so great so we have done a statistical research if you could collect the data through a Facebook like India and USA like I mentioned you could actually do this research for real and statistically prove that India has a marriage age male has a marriage is statistically less than the marriage age of male in USA and this is called as two sample independent t-test in the next video we will look into two sample relational t-test and um, if you have any questions or clarifications in this, you can leave it on the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.